Hey guys! So I just wanted to make a video on my breastfeeding experience this far. Um, so when I was younger, I always knew I wanted to breastfeed. Um, when my mom, when my brother was born, she nursed my brother, and me too, but when she was nursing my brother, I wanted to breastfeed too, so I used to pull my nightgown up and I used to nurse my baby dolls. So I've always known that breastfeeding was something that I really wanted to try and something that I really wanted to do. So after Blake was born, um, he latched on right away. Everything was great. Um, and then probably about a week or two weeks, he wasn't latching on right. Um, and those of you guys who breastfeed know how painful it is to breastfeed in the first place. And then he wasn't latching on right. It just kind of made it worse. Um, so I had a lactation consultant come to our apartment and um, she latched him on right away. I don't know how she did it, but she did. And so she just kept trying and trying and trying. And for some reason, I couldn't get him to do it myself. I don't know, I was doing something wrong. I don't know, but I just couldn't do it. So I went to the store and I got um, nipple shields. And we got one nipple shield. And um, I put that on and he... It took so much pressure off of my nipple itself that it didn't hurt nursing. And so I used that for about four or five days and it was awesome. And then I took it off and he just, he could, he could latch on right after that. So I don't know what it was, but he just learned to open his mouth wide enough and latch on right with the nipple shield. So if you guys are having problems with nursing and if it hurts or, um, if, um, your baby is having a hard time latching on, I definitely recommend the nipple shield because it takes a lot of pressure off of your nipple and it teaches them to open wider, I think. Um, so after that happened, probably about six, six or seven, no, probably like five or six months um, after he was born, I got thrush. And so thrush is a fungal infection for those of you guys who don't know, and it's painful. It feels like, like burning. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it my my boob itself just burned and burned and burned, and I would get these shooting pains. And on top of that, I also um, got mastitis, and the mastitis hurt horribly. Like it hurt all the way up to my collarbone. That's how bad it hurt. And so it was only one side. It's only my left side. My right side was perfectly fine. I don't know why. It was just my left side that hurt the worst. Um, and the doctor said, well, if you have um, thrush on one side, then your baby probably has it, and it's probably on your other side too. But I only felt the pain on one side. So I got antibiotics for the mastitis, and then they gave me, or they prescribed me some um, monostat, and I know that's for something else, but it's an antifungal medicine. And they told me just to use that um, several times a day. So I used that. And then it, I don't know, it just wouldn't go away. My nipple was cracked on the left side as well. Um, and we actually had an incident where I woke up one morning and I went to get Blake out of his crib. And there was blood everywhere. Like, not a whole lot, but he like threw up blood. And I freaked out. I had no idea what was going on. So I rushed into the emergency room. And they did, like, a whole bunch of tests and, like, an x-ray and everything. And they're like, everything looks fine. Um, he coughs. Well, he coughed. But it wasn't because he had a cough. He did it because he could. And that's, like, he learned to cough. So they were like, well, maybe he coughed and, like, broke a blood vessel or something in his throat. So they said if he does it again, that he needed to go back in. And they do some. they would do some more tests and everything. So I was like freaking out. We were supposed to be going camping the next day and I was like, oh my gosh, my son's throwing up blood. I got home and I went to nurse him and I saw blood on my bra. And so I was like, well, maybe my nipple's cracked. So I looked and sure enough, it was cracked and bleeding. And so when he would eat on that one side, it just like blood would kind of flow out. And it was a lot. It wasn't a little bit. So... I pumped on that side just to keep, like, my milk supply up, 
and I would literally pump like two or three ounces of like it looked like tomato juice. I know that sounds really gross but it was a lot and so the doctor said it's okay that they are consuming bloody milk but the only thing is that it would probably hurt his stomach and I think it did hurt his stomach. Um, all of that happened, the mastitis, the thrush, and the cracked nipple, I decided about seven-ish months to um, to stop nursing on my left side. So I'm currently breastfeeding my son, my eight-month-old eight son, on my right side. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just decided that I couldn't do it on that one side anymore. It's just there were so many things going wrong that... I was like, I must breastfeed, I have to breastfeed, but I'm just going to do it on one side. So, um, with that said, I lost a lot of milk since I'm not nursing on my left side. My milk supply went down a whole heck of a lot. Um, and so, I would pump on my right side just to see how much he was getting because after he'd eat, he always, se he always seemed hungry. So I pumped on my right side, and I probably only got like an ounce on a good pump. An ounce. And that's not a lot. If those of you guys who know, who have babies, know that that's not a lot at all. So, um, someone suggested, well, why don't you give him formula to supplement for the stuff that you're not making? I was totally against it. No, 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 no. I'm not giving my son formula, and I know millions of mothers give their children formula every day, several times a day, and that's totally fine, but I was just, I don't know, I was afraid to give him formula. I don't know why. I don't know why, but, like, I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it, and so finally, <clears throat> I made the decision, I'm like, you know what, my son needs to eat, I want him to be full, and I want him to be satisfied, so, I finally, finally, finally gave in and gave him formula. And I know that breast milk is the best and da 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 I know, but I want him to be happy and healthy and satisfied and that's what we needed to do. That's what I needed to do as a mom was give him formula so he could be healthy and happy and full. And it's great. Um, I'm still nursing. I'm going to hopefully nurse until a year. That's my plan still. My goal is a year. Um, but after I feed him on my on me, I give him about six ounces of formula after, after he eats on me. And he gulps it down like he was starving. So I hope I'm not going to have to stop nursing because I'm not making enough. Um, but we'll see. That can be in a, I can do another breastfeeding update like next month or in a couple months. Um, but, yeah, breastfeeding actually ha was such a good experience. I love breastfeeding. It, the bond that Blake and I have is, is like nothing else. I don't know how to even explain it. Like, I don't, it makes me so emotional when I think about it. I know that sounds silly, but <coughs> I love it. And, you know, it's one of those things that no one else can give Blake food but me. And that was, that's such an awesome feeling. Um, so, yeah, um, this breastfeeding experience has been a roller coaster, but I've stuck it out for eight months. I'm very proud of myself, and I'm very happy with how everything's gone in the, in the end. I mean, Blake's healthy, I'm happy, we're happy, he's getting fed, so, yeah. Alright guys, sorry that was kind of a ramble, and it wasn't really, um structure or anything, but yeah, that's my breastfeeding video. Thanks!